What's going on, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in again this week, and happy Halloween. So before we jump into this week's video, first and foremost, there is still plenty of time to get your entry in for the I Challenge You to sound design this clip number seven. Uh, there will probably be a card that pops up. Yep, up there. Um, so go ahead and click on that. I would love to hear what you guys create for that. Uh, also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. So with that being said, we are going to jump into this week's video, which is a Halloween video. And if you guys saw the video that I put out last year, I'm sorry. It was terrible. Um, the sound effects were terrible. It was really cheesy. Uh, I was just kind of getting started with my channel and wanted to put something out for Halloween. So I'm back this year with another Halloween video and you guys really seem to like it when I do a lot of the Unreal Engine stuff. So what I wanted to do was create kind of a, not so much a horror game, but just a, a horror experience inside Unreal. And that is what I'm gonna show you guys that I created. Uh, I spent so many hours on this and it's still not optimal. Uh, as you see when I do the, the playthrough of it, there's still some dropped frames. Um, it's just, it's not optimized and I'm working on it. It's a, I'm a sound designer, not a game developer. So I'm still, while I can do a lot of the Unreal Engine audio stuff, development is, is still kind of new to me. So anyway, uh, you will find a link in the description below to all the assets that I use to create this. I uh, got everything from the Unreal Engine Marketplace. You're also going to see a bunch of links to different sounds uh, from freesounds.org. Most of the sounds that were used in there I got from freesounds. And whether they were licensed under the attribute or just completely royalty free, I still wanted to acknowledge those people that created the sounds and uh, show off their hard work. So without further ado, let's check out what I created in Unreal Engine for this year's Halloween.
All right, so that was the the Halloween experience that I had created in Unreal Engine. And I did want to take a little bit to kind of show off the project. And um, as I mentioned, these are all assets that I had gotten uh, for free on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. And you will find a link to all of those assets below. Uh, the first, the biggest one actually to being uh, this dark forest. Now, when I originally loaded this in, um, there was a house kind of at the, the end of this, this road here, uh, very similar to the house that we ended up uh, going into. Um, but I took it out. This all actually started because I found these cemetery uh, assets on the marketplace and I wanted to start building something around them. And this is what it turned into. But this map is massive. Um, so much so that all of the foliage caused extreme load issues. So I actually had to come in and uh, and just cut out a bunch of the foliage. There is so much um, LOD on these like trees and such that you don't really see past them. So I just cut a bunch of them out. So what I did was um, now. <laughs> I'm lost in the woods in the game. So, all right, we're back over here. So once the player starts, I originally wanted to have um, sort of a storyline, kind of like, why are we starting in a cemetery? But I ran out of time. So you just start in a cemetery because sometimes game logic be like that. And um, so I've got the player coming through here. If I were to actually be creating a game, I would put some like blocking volumes. So kind of force the player down the trail. And uh, I wanted to add some events to the trail because otherwise it's like Lord of the Rings. It's just walking. Um, so I added some, some trigger volumes here. This first trigger volume, um, actually plays kind of some creepy backwards speech and um, I'll go ahead and let you guys find out what happens if you play that backward speech forward so anyway um, down here we've got our next trigger box and this trigger box is what starts a cinematic sequence of our demon Kind of flying across this, the uh, the road here, which is you know this guy, which is one of the um, I believe it's from the Paragon assets that Unreal let out for free. Um, but he just kind of hangs out. I figured he looked like a a shrouded demon. And if we open up our cinematics here. We can see all all I did was just kind of have him moving across the road. And when you hit play, he is he does have an animation on him. But um and then I've got this little particle effect that uh it's this purple aura that kind of goes off. And so moving down the trail a little bit here, uh we get to the points where you hear kind of some child laughing and we see this kind of ghostly aura in the background and what happens when we hit this trigger box is it does move and then we hear you know the laughing this laughing track is actually kind of cool um, because it's attached to one of the assets that moves. So it is kind of a spatial audio. So regardless of where, or I guess in reference to where the player is as they walk through, it actually pans dynamically based on uh, where, where the character is. And to be completely honest, I cheated with this aura it is, let me see if I can grab it here. It's literally just a cylinder. That's it. 
<laughs> no special creature or anything. It's just a giant cylinder that goes flying across the map. So from there, let's get back on the path here so I can actually kind of figure out where we're going. Um, this trigger box triggers the sound of some owls off in the distance because we're kind of coming up on the, the home stretch here to the cabin, but I didn't really know what to put here to kind of keep the player interested in walking. So I threw that in there. And like I said, I wanted to do more to this, but I just kind of ran out of time. And then we come up on the cabin. And I really wish those emitters weren't going off right now. Um, let's go ahead and, and grab these emitters. And we're just going to hide them for a second. All right. So once we're inside the cabin, I've actually got this trigger box here. And the trigger box actually disables any key presses. So you can't move forward or backwards. All you can do is, is use the camera to look around. And then it starts the cabin experience, which you hear it. And unless you're actually turned around, you don't really see it. Uh, but the door does slam shut. Um, kind of symbolizing like, uh-oh, you're stuck in here. And from here, um, I slid the chairs out. Kind of a, like, like a paranormal experience. And if you were to actually play this, there is something funny that happens sometimes. For whatever reason, this chair, on some playthroughs, it's fine. And on other playthroughs, the physics gets a little crazy and you see it start to wiggle down into the floor. Um, but just like the, um, the kind of aura that flies through the woods, the sounds of the chair sliding are actually attached to each individual chair. So depending on which way you're looking when it happens, because like I said, I did kind of get rid of the forward and backwards movement. And um, so depending on which way you're looking, you'll actually hear the sound just a little bit different. I mean, it's, it's a subtle difference, but it, it kind of adds to that immersion effect. And then we've got our guy that we saw in the woods, and uh, he's got some cool animations that I just kind of blended together inside. So just to kind of show that from a different angle. So that that vocal track um, is is me. I just layered myself on top of myself um, and just kind of created a kind of a demonic vocal sound. The particle emitters those um, those are actually on a completely separate. Um, they're, they're actually triggered in the, the level blueprint. And one of the things that I ran into, um, I originally had the entire house <laughs> going up in flames and the particle emitters killed the frame rate. So I actually ended up, I dropped it down to four and just put it around the player because once you're kind of down in this area, you don't really see much past it. And so it wasn't really needed. And I increased my frame rate from three 
um, to we hit about 27, which these particle emitters are super large, but um, with only having four of them, I was able to get some of the frame rate back. But as you guys saw in the the video of the the gameplay, it's it's still lagging quite a bit. All right, guys. So that's gonna wrap things up for this week. I uh, hope you enjoyed the uh, the little experience that I had created for Halloween. If you are interested in being part of the Sound Effects Guy community, you're more than welcome to join the Sound Effects Guy Discord server. There will be a link to that in the description below as well. And again, another reminder, there's still plenty of time for the I Challenge You to Sound Design this clip number seven. Until next time. <laughs>